All right, we're going to be doing the same thing here, finding the relative extreme of this function. And so what we want to do is, uh, once again, we uh, start by taking the derivative of the function. So we end up having 3x squared minus 4x minus 15. And then what we want to do is uh, factor this thing. And uh, so I'll write it. We set it equal to 0. Because remember, the derivative tells you the slope of the tangent line. And we're considered about, we want to know where our, what are our x values when the slope is 0. And so what we need to do here is either factor this or use the uh, quadratic equation. Um, I'm going to try to uh, just factor this thing here. So we're going to attempt this. So I'm going to write 3x and then x over here. Okay, what two numbers can I multiply together that gives me uh, negative 15? Well, those two numbers are either going to be 3 and 5 or 1 and 5. Let's let's try 3 and 5 first. So this is kind of a little trial and error. So I'm going to put uh, put the 5 here and the 3 here. Now notice this is a negative. So one of these guys is going to have to be negative and the other one's going to have to be positive. Let's uh, let's see here. And also we're concerned about how to get negative 4. So 3 times 3 is 9 and if you add it to 5 you get uh, yeah so that's not it we got to get negative 4 right here um, so there's no possible way that it could be this particular order here so let me erase this and let's rearrange let's rearrange the 3 and the 5 let's put the 5 here I think that's what I just had. All right. We'll put the 5 here. The 3 here. Okay, let's see. That's 15 minus 3. we we got to get negative 4 here. Oh, I had it right the first time. Whew. I tell you. It's too early. Too early today. Uh, starting early today. Let's see. Um... We'll put the 3 here and the 5 here. How's that? Okay, so that's 9. And, uh, yeah, that's a minus sign and that's a plus sign. All right, so 3 times <laughs> negative 3 is negative 9. And then if you add four, or add 5, you get to negative 4. Okay, that's it. All right. Um, I kind of prefer doing that to messing around with the quadratic equation. All right, well, we set this thing equal to 0. And when is this thing 0? Well, when I plug 3 in, and uh, if I set all of this equal to 0, uh, we'll do that real quick. Set it equal to 0. Solve for x. So that would be negative 5 over 3 is x. And uh, in this one here, x is equal to 3. So we got our critical numbers. So I'm going to draw a number line. I'm going to put 3 over here and negative 5 thirds over here. Now I'm going to pick some test points. Uh, how about uh, negative 2 and 0 is always a good one and how about 4? Alright, so we want to take our test points and plug them, in, remember, back into the derivative. Now, let's always plug it into the factored form here. Because remember, all we're concerned about is the sign. So if I take negative 2 and I plug it in, I get negative 6. And a negative 6 plus 5 is a negative number. All right, negative 6 plus 5 is negative 1. And then if I take negative 2 and plug it in over here, I get a negative. And so negative times negative is positive. Therefore, I indicate that with a little plus sign. All right, now let's uh, plug 3 in to the derivative here. So this is going to be positive. 
2 yeah. times 3 is 9. 9 plus 5, that's a positive number. And then, uh, wait a minute, what number did I just plug in? Three. We, we're plugging 0 in, I'm sorry. Okay, plug 0 in, and uh, so 0, so we get 5, and plug 0 in here, and we get negative 3, and 5 times negative 3 is a negative. All right, and then we're going to plug 4 in to the derivative, and so you plug 4 in, you get positive over here, plug 4 in, and you're going to get a positive, so that's positive. Okay, I need to wake up. All right, so the plus sign right here. So that means that the graph is increasing from negative infinity all the way up to negative five thirds, and then it's decreasing from negative five thirds to three, and then it's increasing from three to infinity. So the graph is looking something like this. Now to find the actual points, we have to plug these values in to the derivative. So f of negative five-thirds, you're going to plug this in, and I don't mean to be using orange here, but I guess we're going to, we're going to use orange. Uh, okay, so we plug negative five-thirds in, so we have negative five-thirds, the whole thing is cubed, minus two times negative five-thirds, Right, squared minus 15 times negative 5 thirds. I'm running out of room. And then uh, minus the 2. Okay, so you get this now right here, whatever all that is. Jeez. Uh, I'll, uh, okay, um, so the when you uh, do uh, the arithmetic here, we end up getting 346 over 27. And so this particular point right here is going to end up being negative 5 thirds and 46 over. 27. Now let's go back up here. So we plugged in negative 5 thirds into it. And so as you can see, since it's increasing up to negative 5 thirds and decreasing, then this must be a max, a maximum. And so now what we want to do is plug 3 into a function, which is going to be a whole lot easier. So we plug 3 in. And uh, we get uh, 3 to the 3rd minus 2 times 3 squared minus 15 times 3 minus 2. All right. So uh, I can do this one. Uh, so we got uh, 27. This is uh, 3 squared is 9, so that's minus 18. And uh, then we have 15 times 3, which is uh, 45 minus 2. So we have 27 minus 18 minus 45 minus 2, which uh, after plugging that into the calculator there, we get this. All right, so the point three comma negative thirty eight, and this is a as you can see here, this is going to be a minimum. So I'll just indicate it by that, and we're going to finish the problem off.